I'm Dr. Leila Ali, a neurologist from Tunisia and a member of the Women in MDS Steering Committee. One clinical clue that I would like to share with you to help diagnose Parkinson's disease at an early stage is shoulder stiffness. Shoulder stiffness can manifest at the preclinical stage of Parkinson's disease. Patients who suffer from shoulder stiffness often report pain within that shoulder, but also a reduced mobility that is due to rigidity. Um, so to the point where I'm stretching out my arms as best I can, and this one is still bent, as you can see, I have freezing of arm, if that's such a thing. So when I was going to do an exercise yesterday that you clap down and then you go up and you clap the top, this is what happened. And so like, I can't, like, I'm still trying to tell myself, like, move it up, move it up, move it up. And it hurts so bad. And I'm not, I'm not wanting to flex. Three clinical clues can be observed in shoulder dysfunction in Parkinson's disease and are shoulder pain, frozen shoulder, and arm swing asymmetry. Shoulder stiffness often results from lack of dopamine within the brain of Parkinson's disease patients. Shoulder stiffness may be present at the preclinical stage of Parkinson's disease and is often mistaken for a painful shoulder syndrome. This may mislead the diagnosis of Parkinson's disease and delay the therapeutic journey of Parkinson's disease patients. What can be helpful is to ask the patients if they have displayed any other symptoms that can be observed at the preclinical stage of Parkinson's disease. Some of these symptoms can be hyposmia, constipation, physical fatigue, sleep disorders, or even depression. Patients may also report transitory motor symptoms that are often induced by stress. If you suspect that your patient suffers from shoulder stiffness related to Parkinson's disease, it is important to address him or her to a movement disorder specialist so that they can benefit from an early management of their condition.